Obviously, standing in for Minister Daly, um, that would come under the, the mental health portfolio. Um, thanks uh, for coming anyhow to give me a response. I'm running a campaign during May, um, Minister McGrath. It's called the 31 Days of May campaign, where my colleagues and I and communities are doing something every day to raise awareness of our mental health and well-being. It can be something very, very small to something uh, bigger like stopping traffic which we did in Mead Street on um, Saturday with community dancers, young girls dancing with the green ribbon. So it's promoting the, 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 the conversation that will reduce stigma. Um, Minister, but you, you'd know that the escalating um, seriousness in, 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 in mental ill health, um, in the lack of well-being in our communities is escalating and it's in quite a crisis. Um, not a week goes by that I, have, I don't know about at least uh, three or four people who have uh, completed suicide. And in one instance, not last weekend, the weekend before, a 12-year-old child, um, it, it's just insupportable and, and quite um, upsetting. Uh, anyhow, um, I see... I asked you today, Minister, to, I suppose, um, discuss what the HSE service plan for 219 stated, that they were working to develop a seven-day per week service for CAMS, which is the child mental health, to ensure supports for vulnerable young persons in line with Connecting for Life. However, in a PQ that was submitted um, and asking about this, uh, it was a bit shocking, the response in black and white, it just states there was currently no plan plan date for completion of cost and implementation plan for providing seven over seven child and adolescent mental health services. The cost of implementation plan is the first step and we've all agreed I think within these houses and the HSE and ministers uh, to deliver the 24 seven that is required but seven over seven is the initial uh, ask and task for us. So it's essential really that we follow that service plan for 219 but the HSE don't seem to be meeting their commitment to do to develop this. I guess I'm asking Minister, um, when will these vital services be delivered? We need reminding, I guess, and we all know that the importance of uh, services are Monday to Friday, but crisis doesn't ha don't happen that neatly uh, uh, into Monday to Friday. It's been proven uh, time and time again throughout Europe and in, in, obviously Ireland that the crisis um, occur from Thursday evening until late Sunday into Sunday in the hours of Sunday morning. And that is where the seven over seven services come in prior to the excellent care that will be provided for the 24-7. Thank you, Senator Minister. Uh, thank you, Carla. And first of all, can I thank uh, Senator Moore, Moore Devine for raising this very, very important issue in relation to mental health services. And of course, I do welcome any campaign in relation to dealing with the issue of stigma. But can I say in relation, responding to your question, I think it's important that we know that the HSE Service Plan 2019 commits to develop in all aspects of child and adolescent mental health services. And this includes uh, developing a seven day a week service for CAMS to ensure improved supports for vulnerable young people, as well as related initiatives around enhanced early intervention and day hospital care. Community-based CAMS teams provide specialist mental health services to young people up to the age of 18 and has operated on a five-day-a-week basis. An expanded CAMS provision would be in line with the adult services where a seven-day service is being developed. Where a child has a mental health crisis, initial consultation should be with their general practitioner and if the GP assesses that a child requires an urgent mental health assessment, the GP should contact the local CAMS team. Where a person under the 18 years of age presents to an emergency department following self-harm, it is important that this person receives a compassionate and emphatic response. They should receive a biopsychosocial -psycho assessment from a suitable, qualified mental health professional prior to discharge from the actual hospital. For children under the age of 16, it is recommended that they should be admitted overnight to a paediatric ward. 
The paediatric team should ensure the child receives a biopsychosocial assessment prior to discharge from the hospital, thus following international best practice. In some hospitals, the child will be assessed by a non-consultant hospital doctor who can discuss the case with the CAMS consultant on call. In other services, there may be no CAMS consultant on call and the paediatric team will be advised to wait until the CAMS consultant is actually available. The HSE National Clinical Programme for the assessment and management of patients presenting to emergency department following self-harm aims to ensure that all such payments receive a biopsychosocial assessment. This programme is currently being extended to include the three paediatric hospitals in Dublin. Three clinical nurse specialists, one for each of the three Dublin paediatric hospitals, are currently being recruited. The addition of a specialist in each of the hospitals will improve follow-up care. In addition, all three Dublin hospitals provide a comprehensive liaison psychi psych psychiatric uh, service. In Temple Street uh, Children's University Hospital, this is provided in conjunction with the local mental health service for 24 hours, seven days a week. In Crumlin and Talla Children's University Hospitals, the, li the liaison psych psychiatry service is available Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Outside these hours, children are assessed by paediatricians and admitted to a, pedi to a pediatric ward. In Cork University Hospital, there is a, a liaison psychiatric nurse available Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. This nurse is supported by a consultant from the CAMS. Outside these hours, the NCHD completes assessments and the CAMS consultants provide input as appropriate. CAMS inpatient units currently operate on a 24-7 tertiary model of care to young people with the severe or complex mental health issues. There are currently 74 CAMS inpatient beds in four units in Dublin, Cork and Galway. The new Children's Hospital will have an additional 20 CAMS beds. There will be 10 CAMS beds in the new forensic mental uh, complex due to open at Port Ran next year, and this will be the first such unit nationally. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. <coughs> uh, well, Minister, I don't really want to say thank you because, first of all, 74 CAMS inpatient beds, are, only 50 of those are operational. This does not answer, it's like you're giving me an education in uh, CAMS and the services that already exist. It doesn't address the seven over seven, the vital importance of seven over seven for our children from that peak time of Thursday until until Sunday. And as for waiting in an A&E for a CAMS consultant, they don't exist. Uh, many patients and children leave before, with their parents, leave before they are assessed in waiting days, hours for a uh, consultant to come. Frankly, Minister, Lynn, Lynn Dara, its day hospital is still closed as well. That's been closed for the last eight months and I can't get a response from the HSE as to what the plans is to do with it. It's a white elephant, it's lying there empty and it was state of the art when it opened there about two to three years ago. Minister, this answer does not uh, touch on at all the seven over seven and what is uh, available for our children now it's just not good enough. We're failing them and we know what the difficulties are. We've been pledged to have seven over seven going on to a 24 over seven, but nothing is happening and the HSC are not responding to their plans supposedly for 219 for this. Gurum Algo. Thank you, Senator. Minister, uh, can I, can I just say on behalf of Minister Jim Daly, the, sen the Senator can be rest assured that this government and the HSC remains firmly committed to developing all aspects of our CAM services. And this involves a more holistic approach to CAMS overall than in the past, including out-of-hours provision, but also enhanced primary care or disability supports for vulnerable young people who this may be more appropriate than specialist CAMS care. Minister Jim Daly is also strongly supportive of developing new initiatives such as e-mental health supports, which have been proven to work abroad. They can either be used for early intervention, thus helping reduce service pressures on CAMS, or can be an aid to CAMS teams themselves to progress individual cases. In addition, the new capital initiatives I have already outlined to the Senator for the new Children's Hospital in Portran will increase CAMS beds nationally from 74 beds to 104. Can I say finally, Akarak, Minister Daly and the Department of Health will continue to closely monitor CAMS 
activity nationally in the context of implementing agreed HSE service plan targets for this year. And of course, I'll bring your concerns back to Minister Jim Daly. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed, Minister. Minister, you didn't mention the, uh, 707 sorry, no, at Senator, all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry you've you had your chance. Uh, thank you very much, Minister. The House